which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, really? Cortana. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the flood. Which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? I'll... Do what? I have the Index. You can just float and sputter. Enough! The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go. Right. Now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out! We can't let the Monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A Starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battlenet and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo.
haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the Monitor or his Sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the Index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the Monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. Wait, we should commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time.
Good. Let's get moving. The nav point marks our target. That's the pulse generator. The center core is the signal amplifier. That's what we need to shut down. We need to interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator, but you'll need to walk into the beam to trigger it. The EMP blast should neutralize the generator, but it will also drain your shields and leave you vulnerable until they recharge. Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. The second pulse generator is located in the adjacent canyon. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. Head through that door. That's the way to the next canyon.
Okay, let's take care of the next pulse generator. Pulse generator overloaded, one more to go.
I've located the Pillar of Autumn. She put down 1,200 kilometers up spin. Energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up. The systems on the Pillar of Autumn have fail-safes even I can't override without authorization from the captain. We'll need to find him, or his neural implants, to start the fusion core detonation. That tunnel leads to the next section of canyon. The final pulse generator we need to destroy is through there.
Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shield. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Do it. <laughs> 